All right, what's going on, guys? It's Ruben here with Alpaca Trading. Welcome aboard March 1st Trading Recap, or the March 1st Trading Recap. Uh, we have uh, six stocks to go through, uh, lots of great plays today, and uh, we're pretty much going to go over um, all of the plays here and where you could have made money, where you could have entered, and where you would have exited. Uh, again, this is a 200 SMA, the 50 SMA, the 6 and the 12 EMAs. This uh, white line right here shows the entry point that we called in the Discord uh, chat group. Uh, you got my volume here, average line here, RSI, and MACD. So let's look at this play right here for Tesla. Uh, it opened up and it came just the bear basically took over right away. And then this area that you see right here created some sort of consolidation where it kind of tried to go above uh, that 303.35 and it did not it just the wicks went over and um again it tried to retest um three or 335 as a resistance um here you could have been tricked very easily thinking that this was confirmation because this part of the candle goes above three or 335 and then here we have a uh the body of uh the candle going above three or 335 which technically to everybody this would be confirmation but look at this wick right here this wick actually stayed below confirmation so because it stayed below confirmation i would not use this candle as your second green candle for a call confirmation or for a bullish confirmation and uh again that was uh basically what happened it just did not confirm and the stock started tesla started coming down um and as you can see you could have ridden it all the way from about 303 uh, somewhere around here when the also when the when the uh, 6 and 12 EMA started crossing over you could have uh, entered somewhere around here and made a nice uh, I'll always do this I'm, I'm doing this on a new laptop so bear with me if uh, it's I'm kind of slow here uh, but here you could have made about uh, nine dollars and 98 cents or so it's so about 3.27 percent that is huge um, a lot of money could have made on those contracts. Again, as you can see, it tried to retest the 6 and the 12 uh, EMAs. Uh, the wicks here show that, and it just kept coming down. Then you have this uh, green candle right here trying to pop above um, the 6 and the 12, but this red candle was not confirmation. So don't think of confirmation just as um, you know stuff that you see here at key resistance, but also remember that the 6 and the 12 are resistance and support lines as well um, depending on if you're going up or down um, and whenever it breaks to the other side use the same rule that you use for confirmation here use it over here as you as you guys can see it did not break through and then of course just to make a side note of course if it does if if this would have been positive confirmation and um, the candles would have started coming up here uh, green and everything maybe use the 50 as your next test or your next level of resistance and if it breaks through here that is your least conservative um exit whereas your most uh, your most conservative exit would have been to exit if uh this green candle would have been followed by several more green candles to the upside but that did not happen and tesla just continued coming down again just riding the wave down off the six ema and then eventually uh, it kind of um, went back up, um, crossed over the 50, and then it kind of traded sideways for a little bit. Um, the play here today was definitely here, from here all the way down to here. Okay, um, if you guys can see here at the bottom as the low forms, you have all of these wicks right here um, that show on these candles. Um, again, this is basically showing the candle the, the the stock trying to push further down but as soon as it would hit this 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 and this the bulls would just push it back up and it wouldn't just let it go below it so maybe at around this candle right here this would have been a good point to sell all right so that was a great play for tesla nvidia uh, let's see what um, what the call is. Um, Nvidia was called out. 
uh, entry below 157. So here's the 157. Uh, again, it formed that kind of resistance around here and around here. Finally, it broke through. And here's a good example of what I said before. So here, it broke through with this red candle, right? And then here's your second red candle for, for a put confirmation. Notice how the wick never went above 157. So this red candle right here, perfect confirmation because it this one, the first one obviously closed below, um, like right around here. So it literally crossed below 157. And then the second candle followed up with that. It tried to go above uh, resistance, but it got rejected. And the, the wick shows it, it did not cross over this white line. NVIDIA eventually continued going down. Again, it rode the six and the 12 beautifully. Um, around this area, very easy to get scared, thinking that it's gonna reverse, especially around here. But as you can see, the body of the candle stayed inside of the six and the 12. The wick merely went above the 12. But again, you have to be patient and wait for the candle to close. Because at some point, once again, this candle was thick, full, and all the way up here at 156.57 but it ended being pushed down by the bears and this is where it closed at 156.43 so again you continue writing this all the way down all right and then let's see over here what happened over here well this green candle broke above the 6 and the 12 but notice how there was never a crossover between the 6 and the 12 so this area right here you need to be patient then it started trading sideways, eventually kind of trying to do its thing here. The reason why this looks so confusing, okay, and the reason why this is trying to find its direction is because we're in that war zone. 6, 12, and 50 all happening at around the same area. So this is kind of like where you just kind of look at this, you close your eyes, and you go, okay, I'm just going to use the 50 here as my next level of uh, resistance, and if it gets anywhere close to this I'm just gonna sell never did that you were patient and held it and eventually it broke back down below uh, the 200 and then it continued its downward trajectory uh, right over here again it tried to uh, break through the 6 and the 12 which it did with positive confirmation but look you got the 50 right there did it go above the 50? No, so be patient. Don't sell right here. Wait for it to break over the 50 with confirmation for it to establish a an uptrend. It did not, and it came back down. So here's what I'm trying to say. We are using so many different ways of showing you that this is all about having patience. We start by looking at the chart and putting in this key level of resistance, right? Or support, whatever it is. And then what you're doing is you're monitoring the situation by looking at what the stock is doing in the short term with the six and the 12. If it for any reason goes and shoots the opposite direction of the six and the 12, you're not gonna wait for it to go to 157. And if it goes above 157, you're going to get rid of your position. No, you're going to see where the 50 is. If it's close to where the action is happening right here and you see a, a 6 and 12 crossover and confirmation to the other side, well, look, you have the 50 right there. So be patient and see if the 50 is crossed. It did not. Boom. Look at that drop, right? If you would have been patient instead of exiting here, thinking that this was a reversal, Trust the 50 SMA. Everyone, guys, everyone is looking at these things. Other traders are looking at the same thing that you are, okay? The only thing that is different in the eyes of other traders is this, the 157, that key point of support or resistance because the 157 is different for everyone. We, make, we may think that a, a, a level of support or resistance is different from the next guy so the only thing that others are not gonna see is this but everyone's seeing the 50 and they're gonna see okay hey if it doesn't bounce off if, if it bounces off the 50 boom it's gonna continue down all right and as you can see look at it 
boom, boom, just continued all the way down to 153.92. Beautiful play. You could have made here, let's see, from right around here down to the low, uh, about uh, $3 or 1.91%. Where would you have exited? Right around here. This is where the 6 and the 12 crossed over. You are not. You are kind of like close to the 50, but it created a new low, right? If it created a new low, and you're looking here at the RSI, so again, now you're confirming. Now you're using the RSI to confirm an exit, right? The RSI is now oversold. The MACD is about to cross over, okay? So just pay attention to what I am showing you. I did not use the RSI first. I did not use the MACD first. I used the price action first to confirm later with the RSI. You see how it's the other way around, right? So, uh, and then of course it went the other way. And in the same way that you could have entered that put right here, you could have started a call and then waited for that wave up, for it to cross the 50, continue, eventually cross the 200 and continue. So guys, this was a play that you could have made money both ways, okay? As long as you understand the mechanics of what's happening and how patient you need to be, okay? You are going to make money. Okay, this is having an edge. Like what I'm showing you is having an edge. Being patient, not panic selling, but also not bag holding. All right, let's go to Baba. Uh, Baba was um, announced by Kayla as well uh, for a put entry below 185.06, which is right here. So why did we say 185.06? Because look how much how many times it tried to break it and it didn't. So we drew the line right here, um, and then eventually it broke through it. Uh, here with um, confirmation around this area and then it wrote it all the way down now me personally if I see this wick cross above trying to retest yeah you can see this as confirmation right also if let's say this candle would have been would have had the wick here but it would have it would have had so much difference in, in price movement I could have also said hey that's confirmation me personally, if I see a, a candle close with a wick above 185.86, guess what? There's a chance that the next candle may just go up and retest and for the stock to trade above 185.06. In this case, it did not, but true confirmation for me would have, probably, would have probably been somewhere around here, okay? Now, this is a one-minute chart. Let's look at how this would have looked on, let's say, the five-minute. Okay, because even though we're day trading, it's important to step back and look a little bit at how different the, the chart looks um, if you would have ent entered on the five minute chart, right? So you can see here, it confirmed below 185.06 and it had this huge red candle coming all the way down. Now on the five minute chart, this does not look so bad. That little wick going over uh, resistance does not look so bad because look at the size of the candle right it's telling you a story but because we're in the one minute um, we saw oops sorry but because we're in the one minute this is what we saw all right so most people would have probably entered here I would have probably entered here or here okay so then the stock continued coming down and then um, Baba eventually went on an uptrend broke through the 50 and the 200 and then eventually came down. So did Baba have a retest? Sure, it had a retest right here to the upside. Now this is where the this is where it's dangerous, right? Would you have held it all the way above the 200? No, you'd probably have sold somewhere around here, and that's fine. But I would have assumed that if you would have entered here you would not still be holding the stock over here. I mean, look at this move. Look at this move right here, okay? You obviously 
have got to be kidding me if you are going down this move and not take profit. So again, you have to also do a little bit of your part to help to help yourself out here, right? If it has a move this large and you're and you're getting really really greedy, hey, this is what's going to happen, right? Now look at this. 1 2 3 4 5 candles on that reversal. That is some serious bullish action. If you did not exit here, for crying out loud, please exit here. Okay? I mean, if the stock reverses the opposite direction for a little bit and you think it's going to come back down again, that's fine. But if you see five green bullish candles like this, hey, just sell. So again, you would have entered here, sold here around this area of consolidation right here. Okay? Then you could have just waited to see what was going to happen. It retested 10506. It pretty much was kind of consolidating here above everything. There is nothing above this. There is no EMA here. There is no SMA here. Nothing. Everything's below it. Eventually, war zone, right? War zone. 50, 200, 6, 12. All happening in this location. Where do you enter? When you're far away from this. Right around here okay when it breaks through that area of support okay everybody's gonna wonder if it's gonna come back up because it broke it so it's normal after it breaks support for it to consolidate you know find the weak hands take the weak hands out right and then eventually it continued on its way down bouncing off the 50 boom so what I'm trying to teach you guys is don't let the noise give you a heart attack. Trust the lines of resistance, right? Once you have once you have broken through that key level of support, all right, you guys have to finesse your way down through the trend and, and kind of play the game of finding its next level of support or in this case, resistance. Look at this. Look at this candle right here. See how it tried to touch the 50, but it bounced back off? That shows a story, guys. That means that the next time this happens, right, it may show a little bit more strength the second time around. But if it broke it through here, like if it did, if, if it honestly did not, if it bounced off through here, it's probably going to bounce off again. Again, you have to follow the trend. And again, eventually it hit a low of 183.38. So lots of profit taken here that you guys could have made. You guys could have made money here and you guys could have made money on this downtrend right here. Let's look at Amazon. Um, Amazon was, uh, Mike said um, anything below 16.52. Amazon went the opposite direction today. I'll, I would probably tell you the same thing, but you would probably have wanted to enter somewhere around here for a call and write it all the way up as you can see the entire time if you would have entered a call the moment it crossed over the 50 okay did it go below the 6 and the 12 yeah a few times but did it bounce off the 50 absolutely so check this out if you would have entered around this candle right here you would have made on Amazon without breaking a sweat of anxiety $16.10 do you realize how much money that is and all you have to do was trust the fact that it never even touched the 50. Let it do all this. Let it do all this stuff. But look at where the 50 is. This what the 50 was your stop loss. If it would have broken through the 50, just sell. But the probabilities here were in your favor because it broke above the 200, a broke above the 50 and it stayed on this uptrend guys it's that simple you don't have to make it so complicated just let it ride above the 50 once it goes below the 50 sell it's that easy 16 dollars you could have made right here with amazon all right let's see disney so again i know this is very repetitive i know that i'm telling you guys this over and over again i'm explaining this to you on every single trading recap but the more I explain it to you and I show it to you in different charts, the more you're going to understand that the patterns are the same everywhere. 
okay? And your brain is gonna get used to seeing this over and over and over again. All right, so here's Disney, my opinion, very messy chart. I would probably not have played this. I would just not have played this. It's trading sideways. It's just kind of doing its weird thing here. There's a freaking war zone going on right around this area. I wouldn't touch this with nothing. Like it's just not, does not look good to me. But let's talk about it anyway. Um, Disney was um, uh, entry for a put below 113.80, so it's which is right here. So you would have entered on this candle, watched out for that 200 SMA for the support, broke through it, and exited right around here uh, with this doji in the session candle, which is also the low um, of uh, the day for this. Well, actually, the low was right around here where it opened, but compared to everything else, um, this is the lowest it ever got uh, after the open. So this is where you would sell, right? If you did not know how to see this after a sell-off like this, and you chose not to sell over here, sell when the six, when the six and the twelve cross over. Just sell right here when the six and the twelve cross over. You would still have made a uh let's see here about a 15 cent move so not that much but hey money is money okay just remember that whether you make a dollar or a thousand dollars if you can end the day green with one dollar you are already doing something that nine out of ten other people can't do remember that all right, let's talk about SPY. SPY was, uh, Mike said this, uh, put this alert at um, 11.53, uh, actually, hold on, 10.53 a.m. Uh, below, a uh, put below 279.56. So here's that magic line right here. Why 279.56? Look at how many times it bounced off 279.56, right here, and it consolidated. Let's see where it confirmed. Confirmed right here on this candle. Okay. Again, what happens when it breaks and holds and it confirms? It's going to try to retest it. Right. So you're going to enter somewhere around here and you're going to, and you're going to start freaking out because the stock reversed. And, and while this candle is forming and it's trying to shoot above 279, uh, 56, you're gonna be a negative profit in your option. You're gonna freak out and think, okay, I gotta sell. Let this candle close. The wick bounced right off that new line of resistance. And as you can see, it started coming down. So right around here, okay, you're already in profit, right? But then of course you see this three green candles. You're gonna freak out and sell. But look how close the 50 is. Wait for the 50 to be used as the next area of resistance before two, uh, 279.56. Now, if it would have shot through the 50 and confirmed above that old level of support, which now is a new resistance, okay, then you sell, right? But it didn't. It, it, like the candle closed below the 50. Boom, you could have run it all the way down to here. Low of 278.82. Once you see that low happening, bro, just take profit. Doesn't matter, just take profit. You don't wanna be stuck bag holding and then having reverse on you like this and come all the way up here. You wanna be able to just maximize your profits, okay? So I hope this made sense. A lot of people made a lot of money today uh, in, in, the, in the group chat. Uh, lots of great calls by Mike, by Mike and Kayla, um, unfortunately. Um, I had to go to work today, so I am here in Vancouver tonight. It's 3.32 in the morning. I am so tired, so I'm sorry if I fumbled my words or if I did not make sense at all here or there, but I'm trying my best to get this out to you guys before you guys wake up in the morning so that you guys can have something to watch with your morning Java. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys on Monday.